Hello, my name is Shinji Yoshi. I'm associated with the NTT East Corporation Sapporo Medical Center, Department of Gastroenterology. I'm here to discuss our latest manuscript entitled Factors Associated with Risk for Colorectal Cancer Recurrence After Endoscopic Resection of T1 Tumors. If the pathological diagnosis demonstrates T1 colorectal cancer after endoscopic resection, subsequent surgery is recommended to prevent unfavorable outcomes because there is approximately a 10% risk of lymph node metastasis. However, surgery may amount to overtreatment. The aim of the present study was to establish a more efficient treatment strategy for T1 colorectal cancer. Japanese Society for Cancer of the Colon and Rectum Guidelines proposed the listed risk factors as indication criteria for subsequent surgery. The pathological identification of any of these factors was considered a surgical indication. A total of 389 patients with T1 colorectal cancer who underwent endoscopic resection were retrospectively included in the study. Of these, 205 underwent surgery, ER plus surgery group, and 184 didn't, ER only group. Notably, of 113 patients who didn't meet the surgical indication, 25 patients underwent surgery, according to the strict previous indications formerly used in Japan. In contrast, of the 276 patients indicated for surgery, 96 didn't undergo surgery because either the patient's refusal or medical reasons. We compared the outcomes between groups and statistically adjusted baseline differences according to the propensity scores. In patients without surgical indication, the risk of recurrence was very low regardless of surgery. In contrast, in patients with surgical indication, the ER only group showed a significantly higher incidence of recurrence than the ER plus surgery group. The risk of recurrence was 20.1% and 3.7% respectively. To explore more efficient surgical indication, we divided the surgically indicated patients into the following two subgroups. Low risk patients with only steep submucosal invasion as a risk factor and high-risk patients with one or more risk factors other than deep submucosal invasion, because the most common reason to necessitate surgery was a finding of deep submucosal invasion. In the low-risk patient, the risk of recurrence was very low regardless of surgery. Therefore, surgery is not justified in these patients. In contrast, among the high-risk patients, the risk of recurrence was significantly different between ER only group and ER plus surgery group. In particular, among the high risk patients, those with non pedunculated type of lesion showed a very high recurrence rate 73.7% in the ER only group and 6.6% in the ER plus surgery group. Surgery seemed to be highly effective in high-risk patients with non-pedunculated type of lesion. In conclusion, patients with only deep submucosal invasion are at low risk for cancer recurrence. However, patients with other high-risk tumor features have greater risks for cancer recurrence and benefit from subsequent surgery, particularly those with non-pedunculated type of lesion. Thank you.